All right. get ourselves a power-up. So the key thing to note here is that we just keep going. We're holding the, the right on the D-pad the whole time. And if we take damage, we just keep on going. We skip stuff. We just go, go, go. That thing that just appeared in the sky, that's a bonus stage. Not gonna waste time with that. Power-ups. Take out the tigers. A few times here, I'm going to intentionally take damage. Not going to try and stop to dodge those things. I'm just going to go right through them because we have plenty of life. This is a real tedious jump right here. Take him out with a power up. Or I should say a special special attack. You get these special attacks, these like roundhouse kicks. This is my favorite music in the whole game. It actually appears a couple times throughout the game. And in my opinion, the mark of good music, one of the one of the things that's a mark of good music is that they don't have these like really short loops of music. None of this song has repeated at all. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Little bit of hesitation. Seriously, this music, none of it has repeated yet. This is all fresh. All fresh tunes. Okay, first boss. Five roundhouse kicks should do it. All right, moving on to stage two. careful with those fireball guys. I do want to avoid damage. I'm a little bit more careful on this level. Um, I will run straight through these fireballs to save time. So that's why I, that's why I was conserving health earlier. Uh, this is a really annoying, I don't want to say tedious part, but just kind of boring. There's a lot of jumping going on here. If you just stand and linger on any of these platforms, the, uh, the rocks will crumble beneath you. So I just waste time by either continually jumping or walking back and forth. Ooh, 
This part lasts just too long. It does speed up. So the first time you play it, you know, it's a little scary, but uh, it's actually not too bad. Get to the top. Take the high road here. Every video game has to have a snow or ice stage, you know, where the ground is slippery. That's health. Okay. Just skip all of these guys. And we could just avoid the mice. Okay, boss number two. Ah. Decided to use that a little too early so it didn't count the first... What do you call it? Special attack. Ah, come on. There we go. Feel like the kit... Feel like the kicks weren't registering. More fantastic tunes. Just listen to this. This game shines in multiple places for me. The music, the sprite work, the animations, the big, large character and animations, and the tight controls. The jumps are crisp. Everything, just everything. Uh, the fact that you could, um, while you're midair, you can redirect, you know, your jump. That's kind of crucial in uh, maneuvering quickly throughout the game. Try not to miss any platforms here. That would be a big waste of time. if we could avoid getting hit here. Well, that was pretty good. Usually I get a hit there. Ah, this is tricky. This is one of the trickier parts of the game for me. It just feels a little bit slow. Slow and I end up taking more damage than I should usually. Because I'm... I don't know, I'm not patient. Like there, I don't know. Stay on the raft. <laughs> jump. Kick, kick, jump. Skip that. Jump, kick. Ah. Got hit by a fish. I love how the, uh, the rafts break break apart when you uh, hit the barrier there. It's just a little attention to detail like that that I really appreciate about this. Punch, punch. This is probably the only part of the game I use punching. Everything else is like jump kicks, if you haven't noticed already. Just gonna sail right on by. I wanna miss any of these platforms. Whoops, there we go. Just kinda saved it. Punch. And what is this? 
Ah, I kind of freaked out there. I didn't want that. That was like a... I don't know, like a... What do you want to call it? Bicycle kick? I don't know. Type of uh, special move? Let's just roundhouse kick this frog to death. This guy takes a lot of hits. I don't know, 10 hits or something. I never counted. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, fourth stage. See, a lot of jump kicks. These guys take two hits. Or you could use a special attack if you have it. You'll see I'm using kind of a tactic. I should have talked about this before, but for a lot of enemies, like here, um, I'll do the jump kick as I'm kind of as, as I'm landing on the ground. I'm kind of able to slide and not lose any time. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm doing the jump and then the kick right as I land, so I'm kind of slide kicking. I don't know if that's the right term or not. Okay. Gotta be real careful here. We don't want to fall. It's not a death, but uh, it is a big waste of time if you fall. Jump, jump. Get that. That's health. That's good. No. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. Wow. I don't know how much time I wasted there. I decided to freak out for a second there. Jump, jump. Go, go. Oh, getting sloppy. And impatient. Okay. Boss number four. Pretty easy. Just gotta watch out for this hand and then... Kick the Cyclops eye. Constantly. Maybe one more? One or two more? There we go. Alright. Last level we're moving on to. Let's do it. Very, uh, Mega Man 2, what is it, Quick Man-esque? With the lights turning off? Do I have that right? I can't really think right now. Let's try and get through this. Jump. Get up there. I don't know where I am. Get up and over. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Just go, go, go. Up, up, up. No, up, up. Ah. More recycled music, but that's okay. It's good recycled music. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pet peeve when games recycle music, but... I don't know, it's super minor. I mean, like... What do you expect, right? I mean, 
damn, if it works for Super Mario Brothers games, what, what am I even talking about, right? Okay, another one of these auto-scrolling levels with my favorite music. Uh, so there's really nothing I could do here to speed things along. I mean, I'm just trying to not take any damage and take as little damage as possible. Jump. Jump over that. Go underneath that. I like these. I like this part a lot. I don't know why. I always thought that was cool. With the hands that make a whole bunch of stairs. Climb to the top of this. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Wait. Jump, jump, jump. Uh. to the top. That was pretty clean. Get to this elevator. And we just wait. We just sit here and wait until we get to the top. Again. I do have some uh, special moves that I'm conserving. Health. These uh, dragon statues get increasingly more annoying. Come on. All right. Ouch. life and now we move on to the final boss in the game uh, the first form of the final boss spoiler alert and I just threw out a I haven't used this in the entire game yet but I have these like what do you want to call it Hadouken style uh, fireballs that you can accumulate throughout the course of the game. I am saving my uh, like roundhouse kick style uh, special attacks for his second form. And we're just gonna. Kick, then give him space, jump over his thing, his projectile thing, and then kick him again. Rinse and repeat a million times. He changes color. Then we kick him another million times. Every once in a while he can have a, a roundhouse kick or some type of special kick of his own, but he hasn't done it yet. Pretty random as far as I could tell. Yeah. Alright. We're coming up to the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're 
just gonna spam him. Ow. Come on. Punch. Kick. Alright. That's it. There's the end of our game. We just stand here staring at each other as the days pass and uh, the seasons change. I don't know about the seasons, actually. Maybe just day and night. That's the end of that. Well, that's my favorite game on the NES. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. I hope you enjoyed watching. I haven't uh, done any kind of speed runs on the channel. I just thought I'd try something new. and Hopefully you stuck around long enough to uh, see the whole thing. But if not, that's totally fine. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.